and they don't take over feeling bad or good. I'm Professor Hussein al Huwazi, Professor in College of Dentistry, University of Baghdad, and the Chairman of the Scientific Committee of the Iraq Federation. Schilder stated it in 1967 that it is important to think about the totality of the filling of the root canal more than thinking about its vertical extent. And he stated that the success following filling root canals to their radiographic epices has led some to theorize that healing of large uh, periapical lesions may be stimulated by root canal filling materials outside the confines of the canal. So really, overfilling is not something new. It has been stated in the 60s. He categorized the filling into four categories. First of all, overextension, whereby I've got extension of the um, sealer outside, but the root canal is not fully uh, filled. Under extension, whereby my root canal treatment um, obturation is underextended. Overfilling, the root canal is fully filled, but extrusion of sealer or maybe get a perture. Underfilling, whereby my gut aperture is near to the apex, but there are many voids in the canal. We like that our end result of obturation in the apical region become like this. There is no gap, and of course this is MTA, uh, and the seal is complete, but sometimes there will be an extrusion of sealer outside, and uh, this um, has been proven not to be very uh, harmful. Sealers, there are so many. We started from the zinc oxide eugenol type, resins, calcium hydroxide, and now we've got bioceramics. Bioceramics are totally biocompatible. They work in the humid areas, so they are a help. Bloch et al. in 1983 stated that the components of sealers will be managed by the immune system in the process of, of absorption. You can see that this is a sealer and there's a chronic inflammation around it, waiting for the macrophages to uh, engulf the excess sealer. But it has kept the root canal space uh, filled. As we can see here in this case, one of my cases, extrusion of sealer outside, after a while, disintegration of the sealer and the lesion is gone. How much sealer extrusion is acceptable? First of all, this amount of sealer may be acceptable because it is very little. But of course, this amount of sealer or gut aperture with it is not acceptable because it is too much might interfere with the adjacent structures. Gut aperture has some kind of degree of toxicity, but it is successful in clinical use. Because of the tissue tolerance of gut aperture, extrusion of this material should not impair tissue healing. Chokran et al. in 1990. 
But of course, not to this extent. In order to use a, uh, a technique for obturation that can uh, fill all the irregularities in the region, because these are very important to be filled, uh, I'm going to talk about the thermal system includes a cone of plastic coated by the temperature. The good thing about this system is that when you heat this data percher and you insert it inside the canal, it's going to have an apical pressure and lateral pressure at the same time. Therefore, I'm going to have a better seal. This is, this is a thermophile oven whereby, whereby the uh, uh, the cone is placed inside, heated, and placed inside the root canal. That's why we may see such irregularities being filled, lateral canals, and even epical deltas. The procedure is simple, much simpler than any other obturation technique. After instrumentation, irrigation, dryness, we check for the, the uh, width of the root canal by the verifier. If size 25 enters to the full working length, we, size, we, have, we get uh, size 30 and use it one millimeter from the apex. We don't want extrusion of, of uh, gutta percha. Placement of sealer, removal of excess, then heat the size 30 cone and place it inside with one go. MTA and bioceramics have been used uh, extensively in endodontics in the past, let's say, 15 years. When we have an uh, open epices, like for, for example, an immature uh, central incisor, we can place an MTA plug and then obturate the rest of the uh, canal with anything we want. In this case, the MTA is totally biocompatible and it offers biological compatibility, demonstrating the growth of cementum-like substance on the surface of the material. This is another case. MTA is very uh, helpful. It can be used for pulp capping, for perforations, for any area of resorption, for apexification, and for root and fillings. Cases. Schilder stated that I have never encountered a case of endodontic failure due to overfilling. So if we do our endo treatment properly from instrumentation, irrigation, agitation, dryness, and then filling. If this filling has got a slight overfilling, there will not be endodontic failure. Excess material beyond the CD, uh, CDJ probably plays no part in healing and should be avoided solely on the basis of its needlessness, not irritation. You don't need it. So if it happens, we can deal with it. As we can see here, I've got a case of two peripheral lesions, poor obturation. After obturation, sealer extrusion happened, but see the lesions healing. This is another case whereby I used thermophil 
in such a case this lesion has got lateral extrusion here and apical with thermophil you can see that the, the lateral canal has been filled that's why it, this is a strong candidate for healing this is a case whereby I've got a separated instrument ex uh, under extension and a big lesion after bypassing the, uh, the uh, separated instrument retreatment you can see that the lesion has healed even though there's a lot of cedar extrusion here a foreign body maybe of a previous gutta percha is in the periapical re region I couldn't retrieve it so I did the routine endodontic procedure and you can see that the lesion has healed this is a, a great bone loss in the septal region between the two maxillary mandibular incisors and after dental or endodontic treatment you can see that there's an extrusion of sealer but the lesion is gone another case a huge lesion and after obturation with slight over extension of the sealer and healing is acceptable this is another case of double internal resorption and a lesion after obturation of the whole root canal and slight sealer extrusion healing is underway this is a case whereby an episectomy was performed and bone graft was placed in the area the central and lateral was undergone an episectomy but the lesion stayed I checked the canine is non-vital that's why I performed endo treatment and sealer extrusion after a while you can see the difference complete bone healing a huge lesion with a lot of sealer extrusion maybe even gutta percha but you can see that healing is starting I urge you to please visit my YouTube channel which has got um, videos about all aspects of endodontics and lastly thank you very much I would like to say that the difference between success and failure are very fine details just like the line between day and night thank you very much